All right, guys, welcome back to another video here. And today I'm really excited that we are going to California. This is gonna be a long string of vlogs. Uh, we are here at the Newark airport, uh, as you guys are about to see in a minute. Uh, we're actually at the new terminal too, which I'm excited to give you guys a little quick, bit of a quick look after this intro. Uh, I've been trying to see this new terminal for a while and here we are finally looking at this terminal. Um, definitely really, really nice. You can tell everything is brand new, uh, as you guys are about to see right here uh, as I switch this around here. Everything just looks like, you know, brand new. Everything is like, you know, as you would expect when a terminal is this nice looking. Um, even the bag checking was super simple. I don't know if this is a thing at all airports now or it's because of their new machines, but like didn't have to take the iPads out of the bag or, or the switches and Xboxes that people are used to doing that with. It was all really, really simple. And uh, yeah, it was just really simple to do. So we're here, like I said, going to California. This is something that I've been wanting to do for such a long time. Uh, I've been talking about California for years, and you're gonna see a lot of different videos coming from this. It's not gonna be one giant series because we're actually going for nine straight days. Uh, we're gonna be doing a bunch of different things, so things are gonna be broken up. We're gonna start off in Santa Monica, then we're gonna go ahead and go into Universal, then we're gonna be going to Disneyland, and then we're gonna be going to LA proper in the middle of downtown to do a bunch of things over there. We're doing the Universal tour. Uh, sorry, not the Universal Tour, the uh, Warner Brothers Tour. We're going to a Lakers game. So there, there's a lot that's going to be in this vlog. Really, really excited for this trip. It's been a, a long time thinking about doing this. And uh, yeah, we are here at 5.15 in the morning to take this flight. Six hours. I'm not the biggest fan of planes. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on this channel, but there ain't no other way to get around. So you got to do what you got to do. Uh, but I usually, I usually don't take a, a very long flights. It's, you know, but here we are. It's gonna be fun. And uh, as soon as we land, I will take you guys back there, but let's go ahead and show a little bit more of this, uh, you know, Newark airport that we have here on the new terminal. Um, also, if you guys recognize these people from another vlog, <laughs> you may have seen them before. But yeah, you can tell everything's nice and clean. You can also tell how early we are because there ain't nobody here. Guy Fieri is yeah, sitting over there. If that was open right now. Well, maybe if it was open and it wasn't. Yeah, morning. if it was open and not three in the morning while we're here for a 5.15 flight, that'd work a lot better. But, uh, yeah. I really don't even feel honestly like I'm at Newark Airport compared to the other, like, <laughs> compared to the other terminals that we've seen, obviously have gone to. This doesn't even feel like I'm in Newark right now. It's like a whole different vibe in here. Really, really cool. Wow, you just enter with your credit card right there. You see that? You just enter and swipe your credit card, and I guess it knows what you grab and it charges you on the way out? No way. Like Amazon does? Is that what they're doing? Yeah. That's, not, that's crazy. <laughs> These are all the different restaurants that are here. There definitely is a lot here. They got Jersey Mike's, they got Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks. Pliables, a lot of different stuff. But yeah, you can see even the the areas that you sit down, they all got like a, some nice like uh, I don't know what the right word is, but the vibe with like the green plants and stuff, it just has a nice look to it. As you guys can see there, it looks pretty good. Just a really nice chill vibe in here. Like I said, does not remind me of Newark Airport at all. But So yeah, like I said, we're catching the plane. I will uh, talk to you guys when we actually land in about seven or eight hours from now. Game in tech, eating brekkie is the game in tech. Going for a brekkie is the game in tech. Game in tech is the game in tech. Game in tech. -y. All right, guys, welcome to LA. As you guys are looking at right here, we're in front of the Los Angeles time. We just got to LAX airport. About to go get our bags. So here we are, getting ready. Time to go pick up our bags, head to our first hotel. This is our day of going to Santa Monica, going to breakfast at a place that I found. Then we're gonna be going to the pier checking out like the you know the famous pier and stuff like that 
checking out the beach. It's like 62 degrees here, so water's probably not gonna happen. But, uh, you know, and we're gonna check out Venice Beach, Muscle Beach, all that kind of stuff. So we'll check back in as soon as we pick up these bags. We have arrived out of our first Uber, at our first hotel here in Santa Monica that we're staying at. This is the Shore Hotel. We have an oceanfront view room, so that should be pretty fun. Just arrived. Here it is, Shore Hotel. And this is the first place that we're eating at here in Santa Monica. This is called Tart, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Tartine possibly is how it's pronounced. We're also taking Ubers everywhere. We decided not to rent a car. Just for you guys who come here, I'll, I'll be keeping track of what we actually That's spend to go to different things. Scooters. And check this thing out. This guy just told us that if you see these at the corner, these scooters and bikes, you literally just take them and you download the app and you pay for them on the app and then you drop them off wherever you want. I don't know if that's new to everyone else, but that's definitely not something I see in Jersey. It says no riding on sidewalks. That's crazy. And it goes 11 miles an hour. But uh, yeah, we just took an Uber ride from the Shore Hotel to Tartine. It was like $8, two miles. The, the price that we paid for the Uber from the actual airport to the Shore Hotel, which was about 12 miles, was $55 from the airport. So we are splitting it four ways though, so it makes it obviously much cheaper in, in our eyes. But yeah, so we're gonna sit down in here, see what we have going on. Their menu, I will show you guys the food when we get in there. Their warm bread is apparently something that stands out. It's coffee on the other side and stuff. Mimosas. All right, so we just ordered a few things. You actually just walk up to the actual restaurant and just order your food right there, and then you just take a seat on your own, either inside or outside. And this is the first thing we ordered. They have a bunch of different pastries and stuff. This is called the morning bun. Uh, it looks really good, as you can see there. So got one of these to try. And uh, obviously, we have a bunch of other food here. I'll show you guys in a minute. We got this coffee right here, and look at that. It's got a little heart shape on the top. That's really cool. Attention and detail, folks. Attention to detail. Look at that. Here's the omelet that I just ordered. Look how fancy that looks. We got this warm bread that people always talk about with the butter on the side. But this omelet looks fancy. You got the bread. You got the salad. Looks banging. Time to dive in. And then we got an egg sandwich that someone else got here. It looks real good. Got a nice bun right on top and then we got a burger right here that burger looks good sorry about the lighting we're right next to the window with the sun beaming in our face but got some chips on the side with that burger also i'm gonna let you guys know this bread here comes hot as hell and it's so good so good with melted with the butter and this egg omelet is great so i'm here chilling outside the store as you guys are looking at here sorry outside the restaurant that we were just at it's really sunny so you guys can see getting blasted with the sun right now but uh, it's really cool out here. Got a nice vibe, we just ate inside as you guys saw, now we're outside kind of sitting, you guys will see right here in front of me, kind of chilling out here. It's nice and sunny, 62 degrees, not bad. And it feels, 62 degrees here feels hotter than at home, especially with the sun on, it feels nice. Definitely not cold and this sweater's making me hot actually that I'm wearing. But uh, yeah, nice little street corner, chilling at the restaurant. The food I had was really good. Um, no complaints. Everything you guys saw was good. All right, guys, so here is the first hotel we're staying at. This is the Santa Monica Hotel. A little bit of a walkthrough. We'll come back to the bathroom here in a minute, but here's the beds. Really nice looking bedroom. Two queen beds. Nice color. Everything looks like you know, really newish and stuff. A little couch here at the corner. Nice little orange chair. Pretty decent sized TV. You got some snacks over here waiting for you. And then, as you turn the corner, so I showed you guys that this is the bathroom, right? So here's a quick look at the bathroom. It's pretty nice. Oh, hold on. All right, so as you can see, when you walk into the bathroom here, it's a pretty nice bathroom. You would think it's, you know, you got the toilet and stuff. 
Nice little mirror behind you, nice and big mirror. Looks really nice, really nice and clean, but here's what's interesting, right? All right, so when you walk out of this area and you come to the bedroom side again and you just want to take a peek at who's showering because who doesn't want to do that? You just look right here and boom, you're just in the shower showering completely see-through while in the bedroom, completely see-through to the balcony that we're about to go out to. Unless if you press a button and then boom, it disappears. But imagine the imagine the much the fun you could have when your friends in the bathroom and all you gotta do is go in there and just press the button and boom, fucking done. Imagine the messing around. Oh my god, I just realized how easy it is. You could just <laughs> Yeah, whoever showers is gonna be nervous the whole time while you're in there. Oh my god, that's funny. But I've never seen that for a shower before, so I thought that was pretty interesting. But uh yeah. Um, here's the balcony. We got a nice little ocean front view. I'm gonna show you guys the pool and stuff. So here's the hotel. They got a nice little hot tub slash pool. It's all heated, they said. It's open till 10 o'clock at night. So it's a nice little hotel. We're on the third floor. We got a nice view of the Santa Monica Pier over there that we're gonna go to. And uh, yeah, there's the beach over there too that we're gonna head over to. We're gonna get changed and stuff. But uh, yeah, pretty nice hotel, pretty nice room. Everything, like I said, everything here looks really nice and clean. Nice and clean, nice looking stuff. Um, unless if we haven't figured it out, the only thing I would say to complain about is it doesn't seem like there's a lot of light in here, but maybe we just haven't figured out how to turn them all on. But the room's really nice and clean, nice balcony, and uh, a very interesting bathroom to have friends with, uh, you know, whoever you come with. We're also running on barely any sleep. Because we went no sleep on the to the airplane, uh, to the airport I should say, and then we were planning on sleeping on the plane. I slept for most of it. These guys didn't really sleep that much, so the six-hour flight. And even if you did sleep, obviously you're waking up all the time. It's not comfortable, so it's not the greatest. So, yeah. But we're gonna get changed or do whatever we're doing, and then we're gonna head head to the Santa Monica Pier. All right, so we're going to Santa Monica Pier as you guys are looking at as we're walking down. Look at the nice view. We got the nice palm trees. Look at that. That beach is huge. Can't see how big it is from the hotel, but now I can see how big it is. As far as like the width from the from the start to the to the water. Famous Santa Monica Pier. There's mad people over there too, in one small area, and we're about to join them. Can't really complain, the weather's pretty nice, 62 degrees and sunny, as you guys are looking at. A little bit of a breeze, but not too bad. I mean, obviously we're getting closer to the water, so it's gonna be breezier here than where we were, which makes sense. I'm gonna try and touch the water, tell you guys how cold it is. There's obviously, you can see some people on the beach over there, which is interesting, but I don't think I see a single person in the water because no one's that crazy. But I at least wanna touch it, see what it feels like. There's the famous Ferris wheel sitting over there in the corner. We got that roller coaster, which I definitely got to do, that people talk about. The Ferris wheel is what most people talk about, though. That's like, you know, when you see the Santa Monica Pier in a picture, that's, you know, the iconic thing that sticks out every time, especially when at night when it's all lit up. So you guys have not actually seen this yet, but I'm actually, uh, I haven't done a review on them yet on the channel, but I'm wearing the Meta Ray-Ban glasses. I got to do a review for you guys. This is my first time using them through this week. and. Uh, I just asked it what was in front of me while I was on this pier and it literally repeated it back to me. It was like, hey, I think you're looking at a boardwalk and I'm pretty sure it's the Santa Monica Pier in California. So these glasses have been super cool to just see and ask things like, it's just been really cool. You guys will see a lot more about it when I do a full review, but so far so good with these glasses. I'm really loving that you can just walk around with it and just ask it questions and stuff, which is cool. Looking around the boardwalk, chilling. Pier Burgers are a place I heard about that apparently makes some decent burgers on the boardwalk if you want one. That's cool. <laughs> That's a straggler we picked up at the airport, by the way. The best one. <laughs> the best straggler. Look at the mountains. Jenny appeared in the video and I was like, that's a straggler we got at the airport. <laughs> Look at that view of the mountain though, that is sick. 
Look at that view back there. Chilling on the beach in the mountain. That is a sick view. Sick view. And they have a lot of people like selling things on the beach right now. Like different like, you know, fruit it looks like. I can't really see from here. They got some shovels and toys and stuff for people to play with, which is cool. Oh, there is somebody in the water. I see one person over there. Two people. No, there's like three or four over there. So I was wrong when I told you guys that there was nobody in the water. There's at least three or four people over there, as crazy as I was thinking. If, if this was the last day of our, if this was the last day of our trip, I would have went in for you guys and took a video. But you know, on our first day, I'm not trying to get sick from this 50 degree weather. I mean, 50 degree uh, ocean water for the rest of the trip. Because if it wasn't for that and it was our last day, I would have 100% dove in. But really cool. This is the Pier uh, Arcade. Got the Walking Dead and stuff. Oh look, they got a VR machine over here with the Raving Rabbits. Got the Ra you got an HTC Vive headset right here. Chilling, ready. You got another one. Oh, that's that new King Kong one that I did. This is a fun one, fun VR one. Oh wow, they got Zombieland Headshot Fever here with the VR headset at the same time. That's cool. That's awesome. That's, cool. that's pretty cool. You can see the headset right there and then the guns attached to it. Star Wars and Mandalorian. Sorry. Nice. Dippin' Doss is the shit. Minecraft Dungeons. You got a Pyrus shooting game right here. machine over here. You got a Lakers basketball. Lakers versus Clippers, that's cool. Oh, this is that new one that it's like a digital machine while you're playing, which is interesting. Angry Birds. It's not a huge arcade, but they got some stuff. They got some old school stuff here. Pac-Man and Galaga. Oh, they got a DDR. Oh, they got Step Mania. Very nice. And it's touch screen too. Nice. That's cool. That's cool. Ain't no stopping. Stuff. Here's Pacific Park. This is technically right off the boardwalk where you're actually entering the park. I would do it. It's not that high. I don't know why in the videos it looks a lot bitter, bigger. Yeah, that's not bad at all compared to some other ones. Yeah, I got some ice cream over here. This is where you get like the ride tickets and stuff over here. Pacific Wheel, West Coaster are the two we're gonna do. You could technically get a pass for $50 and do all the rides, but uh, all day, but 
doesn't make any sense for the two we want to do because it's only 30 bucks um, instead of 50. Next guest, last window. We're recording. We're on the Santa Monica Pier. On the roller coaster. Jenny! We're on the top. Here we go. We're chilling. All right guys, so here we are. We are now going on the Ferris wheel, as you guys can see right here, where the next one's up. All right guys, we are on the Ferris wheel as we go up for the very first time. I'm gonna show you guys the view that I'm staring at. Look at these two. We lost one, by the way. She stayed at the bottom. <laughs> we lost one. Look at this view up here. Really nice view, kind of the whole entire view of the whole entire thing. We're not even all the way to the top yet. Under this, yo, no way. This is under the boardwalk. I gotta record, oh, I'm still recording this whole time. <laughs> yo, I don't know if you guys just heard me get excited when I didn't realize I was recording, but I don't know how many of you guys watch my vlogs all the time, but this song that's playing in the background, if you guys can hear it, is under the boardwalk. I've known this song since I was like 10, because every time you go to Wildwood and you ride the log flume, if you know about that, in New Jersey, the log flume goes underneath the boardwalk and they just jam this song while you're going underneath the log flume. So much fun. I can't believe I heard this here. It was pretty funny. I haven't heard this song in forever. Bring back some crazy Wildwood members. Under the boardwalk, yeah, under magic. the sea, under the sea. Where's my guy at? Oh, it's just a speaker, it's not a guy. <laughs> under the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk. Boardwalk. So yeah, this is the edge of the pier that you can go to. You can do some fishing at the edge of the pier. And then you can also just see this amazing view in front of you with the beach that we were showing off before. With the mountains and stuff looking behind you. It's cool. All right guys, so here's the beach I was talking about now that we're up close and personal here. I wanted to at least touch it. There actually is some people in the water like I was showing you before, we're up close and personal here. Got to see what it feels like on a day like today. There's the beach right here, right in front of us. There it is, touching the water. It's not even that cold, to be honest. It's not that bad. It's definitely not that bad. It could be a lot worse, to be fair. All right, guys, so we are at Sidewalk Cafe here, as you guys can see. This is at Venice Beach now. We moved over from Santa Monica Pier. We're now at Venice Beach. We're eating at a place called Sidewalk Cafe, getting a snack before dinner. We're just sharing a bunch of appetizers. We got some onion rings, we got some chips, we got some mozzarella sticks. And then we got the strawberry banana smoothie that is banging right here, non-alcoholic. 
And uh, yeah, we're just sharing a bunch of this stuff. And uh, we're right in front. We'll get over there and afterwards of the skate park and everything. I've been to Speech, you can see everyone skating and stuff. So, got a nice view right out there from this, uh, from this little area right here. All right, guys, so there's the place we just ate at. Like I said, the sidewalk, cafe and bar. That strawberry banana smoothie was banging. Those, those appetizers hit the spot as we uh, await dinner. And now we're gonna check out what's going on over here at Venice Beach. This is the Venice Skate Park, as you guys can tell. Everyone gathers around, watches everyone skate. It's pretty cool right on the beach, right with the mountains in the back again. Kids of all ages over here. So this is the Venice Beach Boardwalk that you can go to. They go out a bunch of shops, a bunch of souvenirs and stuff as you're walking around. They got a lot of different things to do. We're about to pass Muscle Beach at some point. Um, there's also a basketball court over here. A bunch of little shops as you walk around. Here we are guys, Muscle Beach, Venice, as you guys are looking at on the building back there. Everyone comes here, they start working out and stuff. They got all these different things that you can work out with, which is pretty cool. So yeah, got a bunch of things you can work out on. It's cool. Here's another section right here too. All right guys, as you can see right here by the sign, this is the Venice Canals Walkway. And look at that area over here. It's supposed to basically give you a feel like you're in the middle of Europe, but you're in the middle of California based on the way it's designed. You can see it has a bunch of bridges and stuff. And this is like a path you can walk around and see all this area. kind of pops up out of nowhere to be honest. I, we, I was just talking two blocks back. I was like, do you see this picture of what this looks like? How is this gonna appear? Cause it's like, it, it just literally comes out of nowhere. <laughs> this is like a, a corner street that you turn on and it just like looks like this and it catches you off guard. This place is actually bigger than I thought. The picture makes it seem like it's just a block but this is pretty long. Look at the house, it's all like blue and orange and yellow. All different colors looking over there. There's a lot of lights too, this probably looks really good at night. I see a lot of lights hanging everywhere. All right guys, we are ready now to go out to dinner. We are going to, I think it's pronounced Jelena. Uh, it's a pretty popular restaurant uh, from what I saw in Venice. So we're going back over there to go to dinner now that we got ready here at the hotel after having a night out on the beach and stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna go to we're gonna go to dinner. We're also got a couple of bars or like whatever to see afterwards to see how those are. So fun night ahead. You guys like my uh, Power Rangers uh, shirt? For all you guys who can catch what that is. Somebody thought it was Transformers. I don't know who the fuck that guy was. Fake ass people. All right, guys. So here we are. We are sitting at dinner here, and this place is really cool. Uh, it's called, like I said, it's called Jelena, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, we actually got to choose where we want to sit. Uh, they have different areas. This place is a lot bigger than when you first come in. When you first come in, you think the place is small, and then there's a lot of places down here uh, to sit. And they have a rooftop area. They have a basement area. We actually got the rooftop here, which I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty cool spot, and they have heaters up here. So even when it's cold, you can still be chilling up here. Um, as you guys are about to see right here in a minute, let me flip the camera over for you guys. So you guys can see they have heaters up here and everything, uh, which I can definitely feel hitting me right now. 
Uh, when the wind blows, you feel that heat right on top of you. Except that wind, though. And uh, here's the menu. This is also the first time I'm using this camera in this much of a low light. Um, but it seems to be working pretty well. I mean, it's, it's really dark in here. It's one of those restaurants where, you know, you're just here for the mood and the vibe. The ambiance. Look the, the lights up there. <laughs> Not the ambiance. That's the, that's the word I should be looking for. She's a little, she's a little bit, you know, she's chilling. She's being forced to be here. I'm just, what's that, what's that phrase? I'm just here for, uh, I'm just here so I don't get fun. I'm just here so I don't get fun. What are you, Marshawn Lynch or something? Um, but yeah, here's the menu. The, the thing that they're known for uh, here is their pizza for sure. Obviously they have a bunch of other stuff here. It's obviously too small probably for me to show you everything. Actually, you guys should be able to see that. There's a lot of stuff on this menu here that you can get, but the pizza's the main thing that they have going on here. Uh, we're gonna get the pizza and the shakura board. Um, that's probably the thing we're gonna do here and see what that's like. So I'll show you guys what the food looks like, but yeah, it's a pretty cool rooftop area. You're like on top of the roof there. And what's really cool, can you actually put that over there to try and show underneath without dropping it, of course? <laughs> Um, so you can actually see down there that you can actually see the kitchen from the roof, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool spot down here. You can actually see the whole entire kitchen down there, which is nice. So pretty unique spot. We'll see how their food is. Of course, like I said, pizza is what they're known for. But the vibe up here is cool. I'm a big fan of like restaurants that like kind of like lighting places up and it's a little dark and stuff. It depends on who you are, but I kind of like the mood that some of these places set. So it's cool, especially on the roof. All right, guys, so here is I'm the trying. first thing that came out. That How do you pronounce this again? Jacuro board? Charcuterie. Charcuterie, there you go. Charcuterie. So there you go. We got all these different meats right here. I'm not going to even try to tell you guys what the meats are. because the kimchi in there. Because I know there's presunto there in the corner, dark presunto, and there's some sort of salami sitting over here. I don't know half of what he was telling us, but I'm going to eat it. And this is bread from their bakery that's really fresh, uh, and it's still warm. Yeah, it's banging. That's really good. But, uh, yeah. First thing we got. So here we are now at Misfit after we just came from the bungalow over there. It's a completely different vibe over here. Uh, they have like food that you can order and they also have a gigantic bar as you guys can see right in front of me. But it definitely is more of a, you know, vibe, uh, a different vibe than the other place. The other one will have like the music playing and stuff like that. That was more like, felt like a disco and stuff. Uh, it was a lot more crowded, of course, because a lot of people probably go over there. Uh, they do also have a bar, as you can see right here, that we're going to be ordering from. And then they also have stuff that you could order from. So we'll see what we get while we're here. We mainly came for drinks, but we'll see. All right, so here's the food. I got an avocado toast because I've seen this on the menu at so many different places that I had to finally try this out. It's a bunch of tomatoes with avocado in it. And then a bowl of fries. And then they got a mac and cheese, but it hasn't come yet. We'll see what it tastes like when it gets here. But that's what we got as our uh, 11 o'clock snack, I guess you can call it. All right, guys, so that concludes our day here in Santa Monica. I kind of forgot to record this ending here, so you got me in, uh, in my PJs in bed here chilling. But uh, fun day. We haven't. We still have one more thing we're doing in Santa Monica tomorrow morning. We're going to breakfast at Blue Daisies, which is a really, at least from what I found, uh, pretty popular breakfast spot over here. They make really good French toast and stuff. So we're going there in the morning before our checkout. And then we're heading to Universal for the next couple days, so that's exciting. Can't wait to see some of the stuff in Universal, but still got a couple of things to do tomorrow morning uh, in Santa Monica before we wrap up this video, but night was fun. Um, all the places that we went to were pretty good. I don't really have any complaints about any of the food that I ate. I liked everything personally that I ate. Uh, the egg sandwich that the, the people that I'm with that they ate at the breakfast place at Tartine, uh, they said was like, all right, it wasn't anything special or anything, so. Um, that'd be the only thing that I could think of that 
wasn't the greatest, but everything I personally ate throughout the rest of the day was uh, really, really good and recommended. The pizza place is something I'd recommend if you like brick oven pizza. All that stuff was really good. So, And then these last two places we went to, the drinks are expensive as hell here, which shouldn't be a surprise. But they were made, they were made well at least, and uh, the food there was pretty good at the Misfit that we just ate with the avocado toast and mac and cheese was good and those fries were really really good i had this like really good honey mustard sauce that was really good that uh, they gave us but yeah see you guys tomorrow morning all right guys it is the morning of as you can see behind us it's a little rainy today it's not really that common for there to be rain in the middle of uh you know the end of march and april even though the guy at the hotel told us that yesterday he's like we have a giant storm coming luckily it's supposed to stop raining here at like 9 30 ish so uh, we should be good for the rest of the day. It's only going to be 58, though, but the rest of the week looks really nice. So it's just these two days that were like 58 degrees like yesterday and today. But uh, today's Universal Day, but it is a chill day at the hotel. Um, but we're ending off in Santa Monica here going to, um, going to breakfast. So I'm going to take you guys to breakfast and also show you guys the front of this area here. That's what the weather looks like here, as you can see. It's still drizzling and stuff. Breakfast is walking distance from where we are, so we are walking over there. At least there's no wind. I don't feel any wind, so the wind's what makes it much colder, like yesterday. But uh, as of right now, I don't really feel any. But it is raining. But yeah, let's go get to breakfast. And unfortunately, Sarah said goodbye to Santa Monica. We were right in front of the pier, as you guys see here, if I zoom in and out. The pier was right there in the corner, um, which is cool. And the Ferris wheel is over there too, if you guys can see it peeking out right there. Right there is the Ferris wheel. So yeah, let's get to breakfast. Speaking of, as we're walking to the breakfast place, a giant Tesla shop. You guys all know I own a Tesla, if you guys watch this channel for a while. A giant elephant. The split, uh, Blue Daisy is like only like a nine minute walk from the hotel. Uh, actually, this hotel is like really central to a lot of different things. Either it's a quick two mile Uber ride or it's a quick uh, or it's a quick walk somewhere. So there's a lot of places to go around with this hotel. It seems like it's in a good prime spot. All right, here is the breakfast that we all got. We actually all got basically the same thing, except there's pancakes over there with fruit on top of it. But uh, you got some eggs. They give you a lot of eggs, actually, I would think. And uh, like four pieces of bacon and two pieces of French toast with a lot of bananas and strawberries, to be fair. This is only $19, so. All that fruit is not bad for $19. So, yeah, looks good. All right, guys, so that was breakfast. That was really, really good. Breakfast was great. Um, like I showed you guys in the video there, so we had a great time there. We are now switching over to Universal, so it's officially that time. So that means that we're going to the Sheraton Hilton, I think it's with the Sheraton uh, Universal City Hotel. So we're gonna be over there. Uh, it's about 22 miles away from, from Santa Monica, so it shouldn't take us too long. Uh, right now it says there's no traffic on the way there, so 28 minutes to get there, which is great. And uh, yeah, uh, this was a really great time in Santa Monica. We only had one day here because we're trying to spread things out, but we got to see basically everything we wanted to see. We got to go to Venice Beach like you guys saw. We got to see Muscle Beach. We got to see um, you know the where everyone skates and stuff. We got to see the pier. We got to see some good food and stuff. So uh, the weather's a little bit crappy today right now, um, but we still got to do everything we wanted to do in Santa Monica, which is nice. And um, we had a lot of fun riding the Ferris wheel and the roller coaster and stuff. So good time. But this concludes our day one of going to Santa Monica and stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, we are now moving over. If you guys want to continue watching this vlog series to Universal City or Universal for the next couple of days. So. Catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.